In this American English pronunciation video, you're going to visit my cousin Brad's farm. You'll learn reductions like the reduction of the word them and how want to becomes wanna. You'll hear the phrase a lot of, pronounced a lotta. And you'll hear an example of the reduction of because and you are. So Brad, how often do you feed them? Twice a day. Sorry about the wind here, guys. Here was our first reduction. Did you hear it? The reduction of them. It's really common to drop the TH in this word and change the vowel to the schwa. When you do this reduction, make sure you link it on to the word before. There should be no break between words. Feed them becomes feed them. Feed them in conversational English. Feed them. It's like an unstressed syllable at the end of feed. So Brad, how often do you feed them? So Brad, how often do you feed them? So Brad, how often do you feed them? Twice a day. Twice a day. Let's look at this short sentence to study stress. Do you notice that some words are longer and some are shorter? They're all one syllable long, but twice and day are much longer than a. Uh. They have an up-down intonation. Day. Day. A uh. is flat and said very quickly. It's unstressed. The other two words are stressed. This contrast between stressed and unstressed is important in American English. If everything was stressed and longer, it would sound more like this. Twice a day. Twice a day. That's not normal English. Twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a day. Have you ever seen a cockfight, Brad? No, I don't want to either. Do they have them around here? Did you hear another them reduction in that small conversation? Listen again. Do they have them around here? Do they have them around here? Here, the word them refers to cockfights. It's the plural pronoun. And it's pronounced um. Linked to the word before, it sounds like have them. Have them. Do they have them around here? Do they have them around here? Do they have them around here? Yeah. A lot of guys from Washburn got arrested a couple years ago for a big cockfight. Big, big betting? Yeah. So you guys have had a lot of rain, you were saying? Here was another reduction of a lot of rain. The phrase a lot of is common in American English, and it's common to change the word of to a, uh, a lot of. Notice what happens to the T. It changes to a flap sound because it comes between two vowels. That helps link the two words together, a lot of. Only lot is stressed here. The two other words are unstressed, a, uh, a, uh, a lot of, a lot of. Try that. A lot of. So you guys have had a lot of rain, you were saying? So you guys have had a lot of rain, you were saying? So you guys have had a lot of rain, you were saying? Oh, it's been terrible. You want to play with them? This wind is making it a little hard to hear, but did you hear what my cousin said? You want to play with them? You want to play with them? You want to play with them? There's the them reduction again, referring to the chickens. With them, with them, with them. He also reduced want to to wanna. This is really common. Americans do it all the time in spoken English. It's not in proper English. You want to play with them? 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 No, I... Okay, you can grab them out of no. there and play with them. You can grab them out of there. Another them reduction. Grab them. Grab them. You can grab them out. You can grab them out. You can grab them out of no. there and play with them. No, I do not want to hold one <laughs> of those. Pay? I just used the wanna reduction. Did you hear it? I do not want to hold. I do not want to hold. I do not want to hold one of those. It's huge. How much does that cow weigh? About 1,400 pounds. Wow, 1,400. Weigh. This is a homophone. That means it sounds exactly the same as another word. Do you know what that word is? Weigh is pronounced just like way. Way. Different word, different meaning, different spelling, but same pronunciation. We have a lot of homophones in American English. Click here to see a video I made about homophones. It's huge. How much does that cow weigh? About 1,400 pounds. Wow, 1,400. Yeah. Hey, Ian. Hey. <laughs> 
No, that's not yeah. how you said it. You said I sold three of them. I sold three of them before we went into winter because I knew I was going to be short on feed. Here my cousin is talking about his cows, and I made him say it again so I could get it on camera. Do you hear the them reduction? I sold three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Try that. Three of them. I sold three of them. I sold three of them. I sold three of them before we went into winter because I knew I was going to be short on feed. Good job. I don't think I was meant to be a farmer. You want to feed them in? You just heard two reductions that we've already learned in this video. What are they? You want to feed them in? You want to feed them in? Wanna and um. Do you want to feed them? You want to feed them? I dropped the word do, turned want to into wanna, and used the them reduction. You want to feed him, Ian? Ian is my brother. You want to feed him, Ian? You want to feed him, Ian? You want to feed him, Ian? Cows spend a lot of time in there. Who? They, the cows do. Oh, uh huh. Really do you, uh, Keep them in there during the winter. My dad made the them reduction too. Did you hear it? Do you uh, keep them in there during the winter? Keep them in there during the winter? Keep them in there during the winter? Keep them in there. Keep them. Keep them. Just add that unstressed syllable to the end of the word before. Keep them. My dad also dropped the T in winter. It became winter. Did you notice that? Keep them in there during the winter, during the winter, during the winter. Keep them in there during the winter. Actually, I noticed my cousin Brad did this earlier too. Did you notice? Winter became winter. Before we went into winter. Before we went into winter. Before we went into winter. Americans sometimes drop the T when it comes after an N. Winter sounds like winter. Other common examples of this, center, interview. International. Internet. Keep them in there during the winter, or do they still go outside they in the winter? They go outside. They, they're they actually outside, even when it's snowing. Because when I come to feed them, they have snow on their backs. Oh. Because when I come to feed them, them reduction also, my cousin Brad reduced because. It became because, because, because when I. Because when I. Because when I come to feed them, because when I come to feed them, because when I come to feed them, they have snow on their backs. Oh. Brad, thanks for showing me your farm. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is a really common phrase. We don't say you are, you are welcome. We don't generally say you're, fully pronounced, but we reduce it. You're, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You studied a lot of reductions today. Reductions are a part of natural spoken English, but I don't recommend using them in writing. It's not professional. But please, please use them when you speak. It will sound great. Did you like learning this way? Click here to see more real life English videos. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Great, thank you. Your head wasn't in the square. If you want to see my absolute latest video, click here. If you're new to the channel, check out this Where to Start playlist. Click here to subscribe. I make new videos on American English every Tuesday. To be sure we can keep in touch, click here to sign up for my newsletter. You'll get free lessons in your inbox every week.